Some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello and welcome back to the channel, everybody. In today's video, we find Denver Metro audits as he can't seem to harass cops in, per in person anymore, so he decides to do it over the phone in an attempt to defend to Dupree. You know, that moron who decided to dress up as a butterfly and uh, make a fraudulent 911 call ended up getting arrested. Well, this fool tries to defend his actions. Well, what else is new? DMA has no moral compass whatsoever. He's nothing more than a scumbag of the highest caliber. In fact, he's the leader of a lot of the scumbags. And the cops don't seem to think very much of him either because they continuously hang up on him. And it is rather funny. So let's go ahead and sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. Hey guys, how you doing? I'm actually just doing a quick uh, phone call. Uh, I saw a very disturbing video that many of you guys saw from Two Apri. He's uh, that comedian. And obviously he watches audits and stuff like that and I think like the last like five videos that he's done on his channel have been audits so it's great because he already has a, an audience and so now he can start doing this stuff and he's bringing comedy into it I love his channel so if you guys haven't subscribed to him make sure you head on over there subscribe I'll leave the link to his uh his channel in the description but this latest video that I saw that also that Leroy Truth Investigations uh did a show on was extremely disturbing. He went to Charlestown City Hall and he got kicked out of there. Violently, physically removed. And Officer Noble is a straight tyrant. You could just tell by the look on her face, her demeanor, the way she was speaking to him right out the gate, aggressive immediately. Uh, so she's a disgrace. And then we had Lieutenant. He's a Lieutenant Manning, who's the same way. Who says, uh, I'm tired of hearing about First Amendment. That's all I hear, First Amendment. I'm tired about the First Amendment. I, I, that's all we you're, hear. You're First tired Amendment. about rights? Man, it's like, this is what your job is. To uphold the Constitution. That's your main job. So, I mean, they're really supposed to disobey unconstitutional laws. But, of course, they will never do that. Because then they won't have a job. So, it's impossible. And people say, oh, not all cops are bad. Yes, all cops are bad. There's no such thing as a good cop. And the reason is because of these unconstitutional laws. They have to enforce the unconstitutional laws or they won't have a job. So it doesn't give them much credibility when they swear an oath of the Constitution and then they're out there taking it, getting paid to just violate people's individual rights. Um, and of course, they, they chose to violate somebody's rights here, but there are a lot of unconstitutional laws that well, dude, uh, considering that you have no idea what the Constitution is all about to begin with, uh, anything that you say is pretty much moot because, well, to you, everything's unconstitutional. But the fact is, well, there's another fact in here anyway, that uh, you will not acknowledge the issue that made a fraudulent 911 call to begin with, and it is in his video, but you are going to ignore that, just like every other frauditor, because it doesn't suit their narrative, and in his case, he wanted to get arrested, and since it wasn't working by trespassing, he decided to go the fake 911 call route, and they get arrested that way. But like I said, none of you frauditors will even bother to admit that just have to enforce so no there's no such thing as a good cop they're not all got all cops are bad people as individuals they could be fine gentlemen and fine women but the actual job of being a police officer in itself makes them bad okay so with that said let's get to it i just wanted to call first let's call city hall and then we'll call the pd to see how it goes for all other calls please press zero thank you thank you for calling she just put a zero in the beginning, but you never know. Sometimes it <clears throat> makes you start over. <clears throat> Charlestown City Hall, this is Megan. How can I help you? Hi, Megan. Hey, I am actually uh, going to be doing some traveling. I'm not from uh, West Virginia, but I wanted to come over there and check out your city hall. Um, and I was wondering if, you know, if I bring my camera to document my own interaction, I was just wondering, are you guys going to call the police on me or... Have me removed from the building. I mean, is that like your policy to get just call the police on free Americans? Just was wondering what's going on with that. So as long as you maintain in the public areas, you'll be fine. 
Okay, because I mean, I saw a video um, of Tua Pri where he was in the public areas and he, and he still as had the long cops as called. You stay within the public <clears throat> area, you'll be fine. Okay, great. So, how come you guys called the cops on the other guy who was in the public areas? I'm not going to answer you. I'm telling you, you can come as long as you stay in the public area. Okay, so you guys learn your lesson then to not call the police on free Americans? Sir, I hope you have a good day and have, actually, I hope you have the day you deserve. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love that. I love that, lady. I mean, that was a good insult right there. I hope you have the day that you deserve. That was pure gold. Bravo, bravo. And this is not going to be the last time that uh, DMA gets owned in this video, so let's carry on. I hope you have the day you deserve. <clears throat> that was Megan, guys, so... <clears throat> You can still hear the disdain. <clears throat> they got an education. They know that they messed up. And that he wasn't breaking the law. He wasn't doing anything wrong. But <laughs> they hate it. So that's the thing. A lot of times these officers and these public officials, they know the law. They just hate it. Right? I've dealt with that a lot of times. They, they wish they could just throw you in a cage and arrest you. But, like, they can't. They're bound to the law just like everyone else. So, so you can see they're, they're a disgrace over there. They hate freedom. It's, I just, I don't understand why so many people just hate freedom. It's crazy. So let's call the police department now. Harrison County Communications. Hi there. Um, hey, I was wondering if I could speak to an officer, um, preferably a supervisor. Um, I just had some questions. I am going to be uh, visiting uh, Charlestown. I just had some questions about the law. We dispatch for all the police departments in Jefferson County. So I can take your information and have an officer from Charlestown give you a phone call. Oh, uh, there's not an officer there available? <clears throat> no. I'd like to speak with uh, Officer Noble or Lieutenant Manning if they're available, specifically. Uh, neither one of them are on... I can have Officer Manning give, me, give you a phone call, but like I said, there's not a direct line to them. I can give you the main number for Charlestown Police Department, though, if you'd like. Okay, yeah, what's that? All right, it is 304-725-1111. Uh -huh. Okay. I tried that one, and there's there's no one that answers the phone over there. It's just like a is bunch of... Is there an option to leave a voicemail? Uh, yeah. So that's what okay. I have to do? I have to leave a voicemail? Yeah, either that or like I said, I can have an officer give you a phone call. I would just need your name and number, or at least your number. Okay, yeah, I'll give you my, my phone number. And you said specifically you wanted to talk to Lieutenant Manning, correct? Yes. Okay. I will let him know. They'll give you a phone call as soon as they can. I gotta let you know because I have a 911, okay? Okay, thanks. Manning. Who's... Hello? Well, stay tuned because here in a minute he's about to get owned again so let's sit back and enjoy this hi this is sergeant not charlestown police hi hello can i yeah. for you today uh sorry you're you're cutting out um who am i speaking with sergeant not with charlestown police you're turning your call knots you said that's correct Okay. Can I get your badge number? Well, I have a unit number. My unit number is 104. Okay, 104. Okay. Yeah, I was. Uh, I just wanted to call because um, I was planning on taking a trip over there to West Virginia, and I wanted to check out your town over there in Charlestown. I just wanted to make sure that if I, you know, decide that I want to go into City Hall, that I'm not going to be violently uh, removed from the building and then arrested and locked in a cage. I just wanted to make sure that I still have the freedom that in the United States to uh, record uh, public officials in the course of their duties. Okay, so he just hung up on me, guys. <laughs> oh, he's calling back. Let's see what happened. Hello? Okay, there. yeah. Did you hear anything of what I said? Yeah, you were wanting to know about going, in, if you went to City Hall or some other, other place, if you would uh, be in trouble for that. I guess it would depend on how you act. 
Well, what if I just did the same thing that uh, Tua Pri did and I just went in peaceful, peacefully and just documented my interactions and, you know, was part, part of the free press? You're basing, you're basing your, or I guess his interaction on short video clips. So, again, if you go in, if you go to any place at all, in, in any state, and you act normal, or like a civil human being, then you're fine. If you decide to act up and break the law, then you'd be uh, be treated accordingly. Okay. So, um, do you have an actual question, or are you just... Yeah, I just, to... I was just very disturbed by the video. Um, and your officer, Noble, okay. there... We are, we are, everybody's disturbed over the video because of the fact that it's been, it's been cropped and cut and, and photoshopped, or however you want to call it. Well, Cordova, it's something that we should expect out of you and your fraudulent buddies. I mean, uh, like uh, Casey Camerboy. Oh, he is very famous for editing his videos creatively to create a narrative that he wants to show on YouTube instead of showing the truth. It's uh, something that all you frauditors do anyway. Chrissy Boy, if you didn't expect it from two to pre, then uh, you are a complete moron because, well, he does it too. Well, the parts that are in the video are 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 pretty clear that he was uh, physically removed. Physically removed. I mean, I'm not going to debate it with you, sir. Um, it's an active investigation. Um, again, if you if you go anywhere in the United States to visit and you act like you know a civil human being, you'll be treated accordingly. Okay. You violate laws, and yeah, it's yeah a different story depending right. on what's going on. <laughs> yeah. So just one last thing before you go, um, uh, officer. You have, you have Oh, you're going to hang up? I wasn't done. I saw another question. You have another oh. question? Yeah. So you're saying um, that if you if you act like a civil human being, you'd be treated with respect and you're fine. So when Officer Noble and Lieutenant Manning walked in, immediately they were rude and disrespectful and escalated the situation right out and the there gate. Talking, and there you're talking about a, a clip that's been cut. Well, the, the clips that I'm watching are clear as day. So regardless if he cut other parts of it out, as soon as he as Officer okay, Noble and Officer Manning came in... five or ten minutes off of it, wouldn't that be, be a difference? The, the interaction, there's, it's non-edited from the first interaction he had with both the police officers. That's non-edited. It, it, it was edited. It was not. Oh, I, I just flap around it. I just flap around most, like, myself. Where, wherever, like, the best stuff is. Hey, how are you? Um, so yeah. What's going on, man? What's that? What's going on? Uh, what, what do you mean? Do you have a reason that you're standing in here right now? No, well, you seem a little bit aggressive. Right no, now. I'm not being aggressive. Yeah, I'm being forward. No, you came up to me, man. Okay, so they asked you to leave. You can stand outside and do whatever you want outside. Okay, but you can't be in here. Oh, okay, you have no purpose for here. Oh, yeah, I do. No, what's your purpose then? But you assumed I didn't have a purpose before you even asked. Okay, because I've already been, they've already told me what's going on. So what is your purpose for being here? But as an officer, you're supposed to investigate both, both sides of the story. Okay, so that's why I'm asking you. DMA, what is your point in showing this anyway? Because, you know, the uh, portions before this were heavily edited, except for this police interaction right here. But you know what? She's being very professional on this clip. She is not holding up to the narrative that you put forth earlier that she came in hostile. I don't see any hostility with this uh, police officer whatsoever. In fact, yeah, she is acting like a professional. But then again, I understand that you have a bias against officers anyway. You consider them all scumbags. And in your words, your own words. It's impossible. And people say, oh, not all cops are bad. Yes, all cops are bad. There's no such thing as a good cop. And Be careful what you say, douchebag, because your own words could come back to haunt you later on. Yeah. But then again, I'm not, I'm not going to okay. debate it with you. Yeah, it seems like you're just, you know, trying to protect your blue line tyrant gang members over there, and you're a disgrace just like uh, Manning and Noble are, man. You need to do better. You have yourself a nice day, sir. You too, man. You Believe it. Uh, follow the Constitution, bud. All right. So you can see, guys, they're a disgrace. They, they hate transparency. They're just pieces of crap, man. And, uh... They're all protecting each other. The video is edited, blah, 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 blah. I mean, I edit my videos too. I cut out the boring parts. No one wants to see all that crap. It's just, you know, nothing's happening. You know what I mean? Uh, but the parts that are important were not edited, right? I mean, you can see the video. It's clear as day. So that is uh, Officer Knotts or Lieutenant Knotts, whatever it is. 
Well, dude, that's what you claim, but uh, from what I've seen of your videos, you edit out a lot of it uh, to make the uh, everybody else look bad and make you look good. But then again, what should I expect from somebody who's completely dishonest like you? And you defending uh, to a pre on this is quite, quite funny, considering, yeah, both of you are two peas in a pod. To a pre edits his videos to no end so he can get the proper narrative that he wants to make everybody else look bad and make him look good. But of course, if he would have done a little bit more creative editing on that arrest video, well, it would have made him look even better if he had uh, not bothered to show that 911 call to begin with. But you know what? Stupid is as stupid does. Well, guys, at any rate, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching, and I will see you on the next one.